So here's the test I think I need to do. I'm going to go to start. I'm going to go to continue. So this test has pictures. Oh, this is a sample question. So it doesn't really matter, but I'll show you a trick when it comes to it later. So I'm just going to start this test. So here you have an image. Some of the tests have images. But right here it has this thing that says image not displaying. And then it gives you a text-based version of the image. So what you want to do is come to the side here. And I'm going to right click with my mouse. And I'm going to go down to inspect. And then once I get to inspect, um, I'm going to go to properties right here. Right now I'm using um, the Windows Edge for my browser. So that could be maybe something different for you, not working on Chrome or something. But here I'm gonna scroll down and you can see right here, question two of 12. I right clicked on this, so right click, and then I come to copy string text, then I left click, and then I come down here to my other screen and I put this in and I paste and Sometimes the question may be thrown off if you leave the beginning section and then also right here you see right where it says report a problem. You may want to just delete that sometimes because it may affect the chat GPT. But here we go. It gave me the answer, concentricity, which is the option right here. And it told me it's in the first position, which is correct because in my prompt here, I told it I'm going to ask questions, please bold the answer. Tell me the position of the answer so it helps me find it faster and <clears throat> I could just answer and move on. Um, and then, uh, oh, I just want to point out something. Uh, here, like I did, image not displaying, but right here, there's a text that follows. And this is what helps uh, you with questions like this that have images that you can't exactly communicate quickly. Here's another example. I'm just going to click image not displaying. It's going to give me this now and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to close this little box right here. Not the top corner but right here where I am at. I'm going to close that because sometimes if I try to refresh the inspect screen thing it doesn't always refresh to the correct question. So here I'm going to go to properties again but my computer is used to it now so I think it just remembers to go to properties. Here it says question three. I'm going to copy string text again. Um, and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to paste it and this question uh, I didn't have a problem with this one last time so I'm just going to come down here and delete that section I told you about I'm pretty sure I get the right answer if I didn't do this but I'm just doing this for people's information oh I forgot to delete but anyways there it is uh, does not meet specifications so according to this no, it does not meet specifications, but sometimes you may want to be like, check again. Because there's been times where I think it did tell me it meets specifications, uh, but now it's just telling me straight out that it does not. So I'm going to go with that for now. Um, you may want to just actually review the question to make sure it's not wrong because there have been times where I come up with a confusing thing with the answer because I'm like no that answer does not seem right at all and then I review it and I talk to the thing chat GPT and then it clears it all up for me that oh yeah whoops chat GPT made a mistake and it'll be like this is the correct answer so here I went to the next question again. It's the thing with the diagram. I'm going to click this. It's going to give me the text. I'm going to shut this down right there. Right click, go to inspect and then left click. Make sure it goes to the properties tab. Scroll down. Right click that string text copy. Left click. Come down here and paste and here I just straight put the um, text in and here it's telling me the answer is that one so uh, I hope so. I'm uh, going to carry on, going to pause this and just get to the end. So here there's another question and it gave me this big table here and the thing is I did the thing with image not showing to make this table pop up because previously this wasn't here. 
But now that I did that, you know, I could get the text to pop up over here when I copy and paste it. But the thing is, when you paste it into Jet GPT, like I did right here, um, it looks a little bit weird and sometimes I'm not sure if ChatGPT actually took the data incorrectly when it's answering the question. So what I do is I say, can you please reconstitute the table and make sure you took the data correctly? And then right here, this table is the same as that table. So now I know for sure. Just a quick review during this to um, know if it took in the data correctly so I could trust it. And yes, it is understanding what is going on. So here, this is the last question. I'm going to push continue. Uh, I hate these tests. And then finished. So under the profile section, you come to skill tests. And then you scroll down to the bottom. And this is the one I just did. It says proficient. So hopefully that helps me with this job.